So you need to give your team an opportunity to grow and expand. We see a lot of chiropractic offices that the doctor has control over every scenario and everything in the office. Yeah, and they rule like a dictator. Yeah, and the team is, is left to answer the phone <laughs> and make sure people move in the right spot. Basically, that's it. Well, you got you to give some ownership to your team. And you got to start let, let them doing some things in the office, helping you with exams, helping you with x-rays, like things that they could do and a, a well-trained, specific chiropractic assistant can do. And that gives them ownership over that. They're seeing x-rays. They're seeing people's evaluations. They're seeing them get better and their symptoms improve. And then that's just only going to help your practice grow. Yeah, man. You know, it, it empowers them. It lets them be more of who they innately are to take ownership, to do sometimes little things, sometimes big things, man. And that what it does, it makes the process so much more graceful for the practice member. And it allows the practice member to see that, yes, you know, the doctor's part of the process, the team member's part of the process. And man, a lot of times the practice members, they want to become part of the process because everyone's involved. So yeah. allow your team to blossom, allow them to grow. Don't be a dictator, don't micromanage. Let them, you know, let them give the rein a little bit, you know, yeah. give them a line a little bit and let them do what they know to do best is to serve you, serve the team, serve the community, let chiropractic be its rightful place.